Why, hello there. My name is Mr. Sampson, and this is my dog, Lollipop. Say hello, Lollipop. Ruff, ruff, ruff. I love this candy truck, but my customers have a very unusual way of ordering candy. I have to compose the number of pounds of candy they order up to the thousandths place to fill their orders correctly. Let me show you what I mean. I just received this order from Charlotte Crumbles. Instead of writing a number on her order, Charlotte modeled the number using base 10 blocks. I have to compose the number that is represented to complete her order. I use a place value chart like this to help me out. I know that one flat equals one hole in this model. I notice there are three holes shown in her order. That tells me that there needs to be a three in the ones place. Next, I know the rods represent tenths. There are two rods, so there needs to be a two in the tenths place. Finally, the units that represent hundreds. I see there are six units, so I know the digit six belongs in the hundreds place. Charlotte Crumbles would like to order three and windy six hundredths of a pound of chocolate truffles. Let's look at the next order. It's from Stan Straps. Stan wrote an expression to tell me how many pounds of sour straws he would like. First, the expression states there are 56 ones in his order. I can't have a two-digit number in the same place value. I have to regroup 56 ones as five tens and six ones. Next, the expression shows there are five tens. This one-digit number does not need to be regrouped. Finally, the expression lists 24 thousands. I can place 24 in the thousands place, but it must be regrouped. 24 thousands can be regrouped as two hundreds and four thousands. Based on the expression, I have composed the number 56 and 524 thousands. That's a lot of pounds of sour straws. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm off to complete the next order.